Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We're at Elephant Butte State Park, New Mexico, and we're going to look at some of the sites, okay? We just left the uh, park entrance thing, and now we're going to, this is Elephant Butte. Now, it's got two sections, one here, uh, and then one you got to go through town and out 195 to Monticello or something. And they got one of these circle things here. You got to go around, you know, like they got in Europe. You know what I mean? Uh, campgrounds, we want to go this here way. Okay, so we got to go this way, I think. Yeah, Ridge Road Campgrounds. Okay, and then some of these down here, well, I got this thing turned a little bit crooked, but not too bad. Some of these are water and electric, and some aren't. So that's what I'm checking. Now, as far as the cell phone signal, sheesh, five bars right here. Guarantee you. Now, these are just plain old tent camping things here, I guess, the ones on the right, because I don't see any water or electric stuff. The lake is 5% full. Elephant Butte Lake is 5% full, as in 95% empty. And, uh, yeah. Uh, let me do this. Let me pull up here in the shade park, and I'll take the phone out. And we'll walk out here and I'll show you what a lake looks like when it runs out of water. <laughs> you know what I mean? No rain, you know. So let's go look. And we'll go look for some more of the park. Yeah, this is Elephant Butte again. I've said that ten times. This is a group shelter, but I don't care. I'm just going to walk over here and look at the lake with you guys. So here we go. You know, the western U.S. has a little bit of a water problem, as I think most of you are aware. And... So, but as you can see, this lake is, woo, gone. <laughs> Yo, where did the lake go, you know? Yeah. I mean, I don't want to get too close to the edge here, but uh, yeah, you can, I'll kind of zoom just a touch and then we'll kind of go around and you can see See, the water usually comes all the way up to this bank here, right down below us here. There's what used, This is usually water. or Well, if it was full, it would be. And you can see that they've... But you can see all those little islands out there that have popped up. Yeah, it's just gone. The lake... Where'd the lake go? No, Mr. Bill. Yeah. But this is Elephant Butte Pond. Now, this is Elephant Butte Pond in New Mexico. And, uh, yeah. What's causing it? Well, more irrigation... More use of the water upstream, uh, less rain, less snow melt. I don't know, combination of all of that. So now that you have seen that Elephant Butte is a pond instead of a lake, we will go back to Sparky here, hop in our 48.7 mile to the gallon car, Chevy Spark 2021 manual transmission. <laughs> Ah, uh, but this is this is actually a pretty spot. I mean, I don't know if I'm going to stay here at Mon or at Monticello, but uh, there's another part I'll do. It's another section of this same state park. It's called Monticello, and it's about I don't know 15 miles north of here. Really remote, uh, but but the upside is that uh, got some beautiful views. You know what I mean? And I kind of like that. So now we will recede, or exceed, or uh, Nat got in, he'll pay the ultimate price, he did. Okay, dead Nat, now let's go, let's get this up a little bit there. How are we doing? Let's go. Onward and downward. Do do, Jolie Blanc, pretty girl. There's an old Jeepster, how you doing there, bud? like he hadn't had a happy day in his life but that's okay you know it's funny you can look at people and see what kind of life they've had on their face <laughs> their, their face and their eyes tell it all but again now we're going down to look at some of the campsites there are insects here as in gnats by the hundreds 
because they followed me in my car and now they're going to die. They're going to pay the ultimate price. That's a tent site, as you can see. Let me, let me turn a little bit more to the rightish. There you go. I don't know if I'm making it better or worse. Okay, here we go. We're going to go to... We got Desert Cove, Quail Run, Lions Beach, and Dump Station to the left. So let's go this way because those are supposed to be water and electric. So let's go see. Why do I want water and electric? Because that is the kind of guy I am. Got a few G gnats in here. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, biting flies and, and gnats. Jeez. You know, gnats want to get in your ears and in your eyes. And is that irritating? Oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, here we go up this little hill here. You know, this is pretty. I've, it's funny, I've never been here before. I went to Monticello one time. I didn't even know this was here. Okay, this is Desert Cove. Uh, well, we're going to drive by the dump station, but we're also going to go to Desert Cove. Why? Because I ain't got nothing else to do, and I want to see it. There's the dump station. Do not enter, so it's a one-way loop around, so let's do that. Uh, Desert Cove Campground. She says it really packs up in the winter. Now, the question is, well, I guess i got to go this here way, huh? Well, no, we're going to go this way. How about that? Well, these look a little cramped up here, guys. So we don't, I don't think I'm going to stay here, but it, it'll, at least it shows me what's here. Desert Cove. Yep, there's all, look, at open the door, and there's the people all staring at me like, what the hell is he doing here? Uh, water and electric sites. Uh, they're really, the sites are really close together, which I do not like, and so therefore I will not stay here. Got a great cell phone signal. No, this is like an RV park here. Nope, 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 nope. But in the wintertime, October, November, December, this place will be slammed and all the license plates will be from up north. Is that bad? No, it's the way it is. I get out of the heat and they get out of the cold. There's a guy that's moved in there. He's already set up his dog pound and all that stuff. And you know, believe it or not, <laughs> some of these people, boy, when they, when they set up camp for a week or two, they... They set up camp, you know, is that bad? No, that's their choice. They can, they can put a horse barn there if they can pack, pack it up in two weeks and leave. Okay, so this was a M-I-S-S -S miss. Okay, we don't want to do not enter there, but that's enough of that mess. There were some other campgrounds in there too, but I want to go straight on down. Is that all of them in here? Mm-hmm. Or just one? Just one, Desert Cove. Well, end of Desert Cove. Now we'll go down to Guatemala. Okay, you know, they got all this land here, barren desert land, and what do they do? They build a campsite and put up sites, pack them together. And unfortunately, most state parks do that. Most. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen, at Quail Run. Okay, quiet hours are from 10 to 7, pets on leash only, and these are, what, there's the pay station, you know, I don't even have to do the pay station since I've got a pass, okay, I'm probably going the wrong way, but these are water and electric, and boy, they are bumper to bumper, I mean, they are really bumper to bumper. Not good, so forget this place. Let's get out of here. I'm getting depressed. We got a few pull throughs. There's the host cleaning the fire ring. Okay, well, what did we learn today, Rusty? Well, we learned we don't need to drive our Class C over here, even though all these spaces are vacant. You'd have all this to yourself. And you know what would happen, don't you? If I picked site number 29, I guarantee you, in 30 minutes, site, every site around it would be 
pack. Why? I don't know why, but it, that's the logic of camping. I tell you, as you know, you go out boondocking and you go out somewhere where there's just a perfect little spot and what happens? Uh, here comes, you know what? <clears throat> but anyway, here we go. Yeah, this is where we were a while ago. We were back, we're back to this spot, I think. Yeah, that's Desert Cove. Okay, let's get out of this mess. I've seen enough. Okay, the lake is pretty, what, what there is of it. And um, Okay, so now we'll go back out here. And then there's another section, but we'll do it. I'll do this in two parts. This will be a two-part video. Elephant Butte, Elephant Butte State Park, New Mexico will be two parts, okay? This is part one, P-A-R. See, if you got two parts, then there's going to be a one and a two, you understand? So this will be one, uno, 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 dos, tres. Ah, <laughs> oh, feel good all over more than anywhere else. So with that in mind, ladies and gentlemen, we will end this video when we get somewhere else. I got Now, you know, it's amazing, too. When you come into a state park and you do some rights and lefts and rights and lefts, then you get ready to go out and you're thinking, hmm, <laughs> hmm, which way do I go here, you know? Have I ever done that? Yes, sir, I have done it. If there's anything that can be done while you're camping, I think I've done it at least twice. Yeah, beautiful view. This guy with his 10 here on the left has got the view times 10, babe. But he's also cooking because the weather is going to be a little warm today. There's playground on the right. We got three speed bumps right here in a row. Uh, uh, hear that? Yeah. And the sun is on my left, and we're going to end this video before it cuts off on its own. Okay, now. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is Rusty78609. You have just seen one section of Elephant Butte State Park, and this is near the little town of Elephant Butte, which is near the town of Truth or Consequences, New Mexico. Okay? And Google Maps does not, if you use Google Maps to bring you to this park, be careful, because it'll take you right past the entrance and tell you that it's another quarter mile, and it ain't. Wrong-o, wrong-o. Oh, there are little buildings here at the state park. They designed them to look like Airstream trailers. I'll show you. On the way out here, you'll see them. Let me turn the camera to another way here. You see those little booths there? Those are little aluminum booths right in there. And they do look like Airstream trailers. They really do. So, with that in mind, ladies and gentlemen, put the camera back where it's supposed to be rusty, like right in there, which is fine. Okay, now we can do our thumbs up. Thank you, ma'am. Anyway, thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, bye-bye, buying thing you want anytime. But if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all of my videos. Why? Because it doesn't cost you one penny. If you're going to buy something from Amazon anyway, why don't you use the link? I don't know. Because it takes a little effort. Yes, I know that. Would I do? Would I skip it too? Probably. Anyway, so we got to go this here way. Because we want to go to the, another campground. Yeah, it's pretty up here. It's not up on a real hill and stuff. So anyway, guys, thumbs up. I already said carpet dim. Use the link. Drink plenty of water. Stretch walk. Keep your health. And... Part one has just now ended. Bye.